Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I am so excited because we are going to be testing out the new Tati Beauty Blendiful. I was so excited. I ordered this when it came out, like right when it came out. And then we are also gonna compare it to the Beauty Blender. So I wanna see a comparison to see, does it work just as good? Can it give you more coverage, less coverage? What's the tea? Cause we all know Beauty Blender is like a go-to right now. So I wanna compare it to the Blendiful and see what that's all about. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click the bell right down below so you can notified of all of my future uploads. And let's just dive right in. So I'm gonna open up this package. It's really cute. On the back it says no harsh lines and it comes with one Blendiful and one Baby Blendiful. I really love how her packaging is minimal. It came in a little bubble wrap package that was just slightly bigger than this. So we're gonna open this right up and check them out. Holy cow, they are so smooth. And look, like I have a tiny face. So this is almost as big as my face. Like if I hold it this way, you can see it's like the size of my face. So this is really nice. Looks like you could use both sides of this. You can flip this it's very bendy and then this so the little one is way more firm so when i'm pushing it down this has a lot more it doesn't have as much give as this one like this one i can like really mush it these are really nice and i ended up getting two for myself because tati in her video explaining this said that she uses one blendiful for her cream and like liquid products and one for her powder so that's what i'm gonna do so i got two of them they are only 18 dollars, which is great seeing how a beauty blender is 20 dollars by itself and you get one with the blendiful you get both of these for cheaper than one of these and they're both washable so she, tati did say you could wash it with like your lingerie bag in the wash or just wash it by hand. And then if you're in a rush, she said you can also dry it with a hair dryer. So that is really cool and really great that it's so easy to use. And if this works for like all my products, it's gonna make it go so much faster. So that is what we are gonna do on the side of my face that I'm gonna do the beauty blender. I am going to set my face how I would every day using brushes for the powder. And with the Blendiful, I'm gonna use the Blendiful that I have for the powders to do that. So let's just jump right in. So she does say that you can use it for primer. So I'm gonna actually put moisturizer on real quick. So I just use the Clinique ID hydrating jelly and then I use the white one, which I think is the pore filling. Don't remember what the white one is but that's what i use for my moisturizer so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on and then we'll let it sit for a second and then use the blendiful for the one side to put the primer on and i'll just use my fingers for the other side okay so i'm gonna do this side with the beauty blender and this side with the ben blend <laughs> blendiful oh my goodness so for this side, I'm just gonna take a little bit and just rub it in like I normally would using a primer. And I'm using the Benefit Professional Hydrating Primer. She did say with the, Tati did say with the Blendiful, the best primers to use are pore filling. So I'm gonna use this one because I also have dry skin right now. So the hydration in it is good, but it's still a pore filling. So I just put about that much on it so we'll see how this works holy cow this is really soft and it's just it's so nice bring extra like i put about the same amount of primer on either side and it's going a lot farther on the blendiful side like i pretty much can do like blend it to the whole side instead of just this area and this is not like wet at all it still feels the same as the rest of it so that is really nice 
So I'm gonna zoom you in a lot more just so you can see exactly how the difference between the different sides, the beauty blender versus the blendable is gonna work. So I wanna try using a super liquidy foundation for this since they say you can use it on, just squirt right on the blendable Tatia said. So I wanna see how that works and see how much product is left over. But with the Beauty Blender side, I'm just going to apply it with my finger. And I'm going to try to say that. So I'm going to do one pump per side just to start. And if I need to add a little bit more, I will. But I'm using the Zueva foundation. And I'm shade 110N Creative. So I'm just going to start with the Beauty Blender side. And just do one pump. And just bring this all around. And then just blend it out with the beauty blender. So usually on a daily basis, if I'm just using the beauty blender, I will use about two and a half pumps to three, just depending on how much coverage I need with this foundation. So it is a very good foundation. I like it. I'm trying to only do half of my nose, but it's not always easy. Just blend this out. This beauty blender definitely does absorb a good amount of product. Like that's how much it was. Brand this is actually a brand new one that I pulled out just for this, just so we can compare the coverage really well. Not use an old one, use new new on both of them. Okay, that's pretty blended. On my eyes, they don't always blend it as much because I end up putting concealer. So I don't use as much of it when I'm using the concealer. So next we're going to use the Blendiful. And I'm just going to squirt a little bit right on. Or one pump right on to the Blendiful. Looks like that. And um, we'll just go in. Ooh, this is so easy to work with. Like, you can just drag it all around. It's super easy to get in all the crosses. Um, maybe like a tapping motion. This also has like a little bit of a learning curve to using this. So it definitely is a fuller coverage that it gives using the same amount of product. There's barely any left on here. It's not wet. Like you can see the comparison. There's a lot more product still on the Beauty Blender versus the Blendiful. And I use the exact same amount. I use one pump. But if you look, like you can't see as much redness in here as you can on this side. Like you can see there's like distinct dots here. It just looks... Like a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more to each side just to get rid of that redness a little bit. So just a tiny bit. Not even a whole pump. And see how that really can build it up. Because I know this foundation, I've used it multiple times. You can build it up to give you even more coverage. That's why I wanted to use this one too is because... It's a medium coverage one that can be built up to full coverage and just see how building it up works. So that's like a pump and like a quarter with the Blendiful. So you can see there's still some product on there, but it's not like a crazy amount. And then I'll add the same amount onto the beauty blender side and just pack that on so it's still looking so far like the blendable side definitely smooths it out better there's not as many harsh lines. You can see I have huge bags under my eyes today. But the Blendiful side definitely was working a lot better. 
So next up, we're gonna do concealer. So this will be easy because I just put it right on the eyes. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Concealer and I'm Shade Pro Filter Concealer and I'm Shade 185. Let's put this on. I'm just gonna do under the eyes and then on the chin and forehead because the nose, I might just have to use one of them to do the nose because it's not gonna blend as good. So we'll just see. So going in beauty blender side. So when I do the concealer, I switch it and use the pointed side. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it does blend out pretty easily with the Beauty Blender. Try just doing one half the nose and then one half of the forehead. Okay, you can see it's blended out. There's still a little redness. I get that with the this combination. I don't, it's not full, full coverage. So we'll see how it works. So I'm gonna go in Blend full and I'm gonna switch to this corner, but I'm gonna like bend it and go in with this. It's really difficult trying to figure out how to do it, but that blended out really nice. Super easy to work with too. Like you can bend it and make it in any shape you really want and get it really in to the areas you want it to be. Like this, I can really get into my inner corners. So I have like a crease right there. Oh. So this is with concealer on. So with the concealer, they're looking very similar just because of how concealer works on me, but it was so much easier to use the blendable side because I could really get in all in the areas I needed to. On the nose, it worked really good to blend it out. So that was really, really nice. So next up, I'm going to take some powder. So Tati said she uses the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder, so I'm gonna use that, and I'm the shade Butter. So I'm just gonna do my normal process with this on the Beauty Blender side. So I just take a brush, a small brush, to go under the eyes. And then I really pack it on the areas I did that concealer. And then I go back in with like a big brush and brush it away. And then just take any extra, a little bit extra just to even out the rest. So with the beauty or the blendable side, I'm just gonna take my other one. So I have two, one for cream, one for the powder and I'm gonna take it I'm gonna fold it a little bit just go into the powder and take it and you can see like stuff doesn't really come off I'm just bring up and tap it just keep getting more powder on and tapping it like you could really bake really good with this because this powder is not going anywhere. It's staying on the blendable really nicely.
And this, you don't even need another brush to like brush it away. You just keep patting it in and it just will pat in. So I'm gonna bring you in even closer so you can see how this powder goes on. So it definitely is a lot smoother on the Blendiful side than it is on this side. Like you can still see my pores, but on this side, it's like blurring the pores on the Blendiful side. So it is really nice. Like I am excited for this product and I still have powder left over that I usually don't have when I just do the brush for all the sides. So that is really nice. It's saving product. You don't have to use as much product. And you can see up close, like this side is definitely more coverage than this side. Like you can see, really see my redness and dots and it's like just muted right on this side. So I really, really like that. I'm gonna zoom you back out and we're going to do powder, do the rest of face to do bronzer, blush, and all the other stuff. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronzer. This is my go-to bronzer, so I know I like how it looks. So on the Beauty Blender side, I'm gonna do it how I normally do with a brush. Just have a big fluffy brush. Just go in and do the bronzer. If you hear any sounds like vacuuming or anything we are doing more instruction stuff in our house this time we're doing redoing the basement bedroom so yes it can get noisy that was be my husband making the noise so that's what it looks like with a brush so next up I'm gonna take that same blendiful that I used to do the setting powder and if you look, there's like barely anything on here from excess setting powder. I'm just gonna take a corner of it and go in to the bronzer. Just see, and take like that much and we'll see. And just work this in. Holy cow, that works really good. That is nice. And there's still a little bit that I can work with. I'm gonna add a little bit more just because I like it to be a little bronzed. But that is so nice. If you can see, so this just like smooth. And then this, you can kind of tell there's some harsh lines but this side is just like it blends so nicely all together and like you don't see like she claims there's no harsh like you can tell this side where I place the bronzer this side it just kind of just flows that's so nice this so far product is winning me over it is amazing so next up I'm gonna do blush so I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal blush please in Blushing in San Tropez. I've been loving this blush since it came out. So on this side, I'm just gonna go in with trusty brush, just a blend. Now this side, see, it's perfect. I have three corners, so I'm gonna use the third corner for the highlight or not highlight the blush and just go in and place it oh that's pretty that is really pretty holy cow and lastly I'm going to do some highlighter so I'm just gonna use Laura Lee Los Angeles glazed palette and I'm gonna go into this, ah, my finger got stuck, into the Glow Glow shade. I can talk. So I'm just gonna take a brush for this side and see what it looks like. So this is like a very like blinding highlight. Like if you can see, just packing it on, but it's very nice. So that is with 
I don't know if you can tell. Oh, go into focus. How shimmery it is. And then with, so I used all four, three corners, but I'm going to take this upper part right here and just like fold it. That's the super nice thing. Like you can use all the space you want on here. And I'm going to take some of that shade like this. I'm going to blow it off a little bit and then go in with the highlight. Holy cow. That like packs it on way more. Oh my goodness. Like you don't need as much as I used. But this is nice because I can like blend it. Just. But holy cow. That like really packs on that highlight. Like, look at that compared to this side. That's crazy. I'm just going to use the excess down my nose. And on my cupid's bow. This. Holy cow. So Tati did say this small one can be used throughout the day. Like you can use it for during your routine or put it in like your purse or bag or something. And just, you can just go like this and you can fix up your face, which I think is great to have this little one to do that. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and then I will come back and give you my thoughts on this product. So this is the completed look. You can see I got it to be very close, but this side definitely still has more coverage. It's smoother lines. That highlight is way more popping than this side. So I definitely, definitely would recommend getting the Tati Beauty Blendiful. And I have a surprise for all of you. I ended up getting a third one, so I will be giving that away to one of you. So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below letting me know where you're from and the best way to contact you, so email, Instagram handle, and all that. So one of you will be getting a set of the Blendful, so the big and the little one will be coming to one of you. So I will put down in the description box when it will end and everything and all the details of what you have to do. But I would recommend this. Hands down, it is amazing. Even with the two, like I, you can wash it every day, but I could use it one, maybe two more times without washing it. Like these did not get that dirty at all. There's not that much product. It still feels the same. It's not wet on the liquid one that I used. So these are amazing. And like I said, you could flip this and get even more uses. So I could do probably almost a week worth, like five days, a whole work week worth with just these two, which is great. And yeah, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Like I said, check out my Instagram. It's m.hartman5. And I will see you soon in my next one. And make sure to enter the giveaway. I'll put the details down below. Bye.